something that's really important to understand about magnesium, in my opinion, when you look at the research, you don't want to just do a blood draw for magnesium, which is very common. I learned about this in pharmacy school. You want to dig deeper. You actually, and again, the research does support this. And in my opinion, in looking at patients' blood levels over the years, and helping to assist them, assist them in nutrient supplementation is we want to look at something called the RBC magnesium level. What this basically is, is it's looking at the magnesium content inside of a red blood cell. It's more indicative of a patient's magnesium status if you look at their magnesium level from a cellular standpoint. So usually the way I think of it, again, this could be an oversimplification, but think of it this way, when you're looking at magnesium levels in the blood, your blood likes to keep its magnesium levels as steady or within a close range as possible. When that magnesium level drops to, you know, outside the normal range, it's kind of too late. You 